Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and I want to continue my discussion with you all about heavy metals. So, uh, I would say that one of the, my main objectives with all of my patients is getting to the root cause of why they're not feeling well. And like I said yesterday on my uh, on the video I did on how to test for heavy metals, heavy metals are honestly at the root cause of so many problems, and people have no idea. So also, let me just sort of start off by sharing my journey with heavy metals. Um, I hit around 40, I'm 40, almost 49 years old. At around 43, I started having really bad perimenopause symptoms. Hot flashes at night, anxiety, depression, muscle fatigue. Um, I really felt like I might be actually going into menopause, but I was only 43 years old. At that particular time, I was eating amazing. I was exercising all the time. I was getting chiropractic care. I was getting massages. I was doing yoga. Like literally, I was doing everything that a person should be doing to be healthy. And yet I had all these crazy symptoms that appeared out of nowhere. And that's when I discovered that my lead was through the roof and that I really needed to start detoxifying my lead. So this week I'm gonna go through all the different types of symptoms that can happen with heavy metals um, and what heavy metals you need to look out for. Uh, yet I, I want you to understand that there's so, it's vast, there's so many things that heavy metals can cause and so many parts of your body that heavy metals can affect. Things like lead live in your bone, 90% of lead is in your bone, and as you have big times of hormonal swings, or as you age, that lead comes out and it goes into your bloodstream. And it starts to go up into your brain and it can affect your memory. It can start causing anxiety. Um, we have, with thallium is a metal we see really high that can cause hair loss. Um, for some people, it goes into the eyes and it starts to affect their vision. It affects night vision. They become very sensitive to light. For other people, they, start, they show up anemic because lead can bind to iron and they'll show up anemic or they'll get heart palpitations. Uh, adrenal fatigue, really common with heavy metal poisoning. Um, oh my gosh, infertility, hormonal imbalances, PCOS, these are all like areas that people are, are, there's a root cause of heavy metal toxicity and people have no idea. So today's Facebook Live, I really want you to understand and I will put a picture of this on, in the comment section. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'll put it in the, com, in the notes section because I want you to see how many different things can be caused by heavy metals. What happens to these heavy metals, the four biggest ones that we see are lead, mercury, thallium, and cesium. What happens to these metals is they start to leak or come out of your tissues. And where they may have not bothered you years ago, they now are starting to, to, to go up into the brain and they'll go to areas like the hypothalamus and the pituitary that are not protected. And those areas control your sleep, those areas control your hormones. So they'll start to wreak havoc on your health and yet you don't tend to think of something that was stored in your tissues years ago as being, as being the major contributor to what's going on now. So in my office, root cause, we are dedicated to getting to the root cause for patients and heavy metals across the board has been an extremely common thing that we find. If you wanna know how to test it, go back and look at my video from yesterday. If you wanna know how to detox it, we're gonna talk about that tomorrow because detoxing it needs to be very strategic. But what I want you to understand today is that heavy metals, if you've tried everything and you're not getting well, you need to start testing heavy metals and you need to look at heavy metals. So any questions you have on it, put in the comment section, I'm happy to answer them. But don't overlook this as being a major part of your health puzzle. It, it's truly life-changing when you go and you find these heavy metals. So as always, I hope that helps. And if you want more information on anything to do with heavy metals, just put your questions in the comments and I'll make sure they get answered. So hope that helps.